Hello and welcome to the final OC Varsity Gridiron Show of the year. Steve's already crying about it. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by Steve Fryer and Dan Alvano. Guys, we are down to the final game of the season. The state championships are this weekend, and we have only one Orange County team remaining, and that is Corona Del Mar, the undefeated Corona Del Mar Sea Kings. And they just got off playing Oceanside. It was a tight, close yeah. contest. 14-7 Corona Del Mar at the last... Uh, play for Oceanside, stopping them at the one-yard line reminded me of that Super Bowl a long time ago, guys, with the Tennessee Titans. It was a crazy play. Steve, um, I think talking to the players and coaches, they know that was ugly. They had five turnovers, and you know, credit to them. They know that kind of effort and that kind of game is not going to be enough to win a championship, uh, state championship this weekend, especially a team like Sarah. Well, uh, part of the reason that they weren't able to score a lot Oceanside played great defense, and yeah, John Humphreys, the top receiver in Orange County, more than 100 catches, That's going to Stanford, etc. He couldn't play in the second half. He had a wrist injury that he suffered in the previous week, but this was a hamstring issue. Talk, talked to us, Corner the Mark coach Dan O'Shea this week, and he says John Humphreys is good to go. But yeah. hey, credit to uh, Oceanside. They played with grit and they played tough. And uh, you know, it's one of those games. Sometimes you got to do a grinded out game. And Corner Mar with their high flying offense, haven't had to play many grinded out games. So. Yeah, they can win that way. Okay, we'll get back to you with their opponent shortly. But Dan, were you surprised by that uh, Corona Del Mar Oceanside score? And uh, what do they have to what do they have to do to pick up that state championship this Saturday night? Well, I was surprised, and I wasn't because it, you know the regionals are a tricky thing, and I think O'Shea talked about it in your video. You know. You know, you're, it's, it's possible let down after you just beat Grace Brethren, and and it was it wasn't just that they Corona Del Mar had won the title the previous week, but they got over a hump against a team that had beat them the previous year in the final. So it was a real emotional uh, victory against Grace Brethren. So they were a little flat. I wasn't surprised that Corona Del Mar's defense has come alive too. I mean, they call themselves the no-name defense, but we know some names on that um, that on that unit now, and they're playing really well. Um, you know, shout out to Grant Pearsall, the defensive uh, coordinator for Corona Del Mar is doing a great job. They really like their unit. So, um, you know, the Humphreys is healthy. He's going to help their offense. They have a lot of other weapons. I know, you know, Ethan Garbers can play a lot better than he did last week. So I think they'll get that, that offense going. Um, and I think the defense will be, will be just fine. They seem pretty locked in. So I, I like, I think, I like Corona Del Mar to win this week. Ethan Garbers was awesome. I mean, yeah, he didn't have statistically the game we're, we're close to seeing from him. Hey, but he did tie the yeah. Orange County and CIF Southern section record with passing touchdowns. And, hey, maybe uh, people who are going to the game, you will see history this yeah, right. Saturday night. For sure. He's going to put those uh, records a little bit more out of reach, I predict. Okay, uh, Steve. Same with John Humphreys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, two of the best we've seen in a long time. Steve, what about, go ahead and what about the opponent? Yeah, uh, that game is at Sirius College on Saturday at 4 o'clock. It'll be televised live. On, on Spectrum News 1 for those of you who are Spectrum uh, people. So anyway, a little bit about Sarah of, uh, of San Mateo. Uh, they've had a few good athletes come out there, especially out of their football program. They had a quarterback, uh, Tom Brady, you might have heard of them, that guy, uh, Lynn mm -hmm. Swan, receiver, uh, a home run hitter, a guy named Barry Bonds, and my childhood hero, Jim Fregosi, Angel Shortstop, was a Sarah San Mateo guy as well. So they're, they've got a really good team. Uh, their quarterback, uh, Macklemore, uh, fractured a collarbone. He hasn't been playing. Uh, San Jose State commit hasn't been playing. So they went with a, uh, a sophomore lately, Dominique Lampkin, who's you know, just picked it up and done really well. They got a good receiver, a, a defensive back, Terrence Lavelle, who returned an interception for a touchdown last week in their uh, win over San Joaquin Memorial in their regional round up there. So really good team. Uh, Dan O'Shea, when he's watched film of them, he says this is sort of the program we aspire to be. So he's got a lot of respect for uh, uh, Sarah. Finally, Dan, before we close it out for the year, do you see a uh, potential Orange County Player of the Year or two or a Coach of the Year on the sidelines in this game? Do they have to win state to sway your decision, or how's that going to go? Still well, confidential? I don't know. It is still confidential, okay. for sure. Well, Very what, confidential. What can, you, what can you give us, Dan? Uh, you know, Fryer and I have been working hard on it, and um, looking at all league lists, We've been, uh, you know, going behind closed doors, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, and, I, um, I hear the arguments from across the room. But, you know, um, but I can tell you this, that uh, Coach O'Shea has, uh, has hit us up and thinks he has some uh, outstanding candidates. And, of course, okay. they do on offense and defense. One guy who made a big interception last week for Corona Del Mar, Chandler uh, Fincher, a yeah. defensive back uh, corner. He's on our radar. Mason, the, the, the linebacker, he's on our radar. You know, Humphreys, Redmond. You know, Garbers. I mean, they got a lot of uh, firepower. And what can you say about Coach O'Shea? 
has done a great job. Um, always wanted to give credit to his uh, coaching staff as well. So, you know, and, and Coach Deere is always such a tight race in Orange County. So much, yeah. you know, um, such a resource of, of outstanding coaches in, in the county. Very hard every year to pick one. It's hard to pick, uh, pick these awards, it really yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Hardest part of our job, Dan. It really is. Yeah, it is. And I'm glad you guys do it. And a <laughs> shout out to Fred De Palma, who uh, recently retired, or uh, resigned. Yeah, he's retired. The, uh, retiring yeah. from the position. 62 years old and retiring. I turn 62 next year. I'm going to keep going, Fred. Okay? <laughs> you don't look a day under Quitter. 62. All right, uh, he, Fred, we love you, man. You're the man. Uh, and I want to personally thank Steve Fryer and Dan Albano for joining me all year for the Gridiron Show. It's one of my favorite things to do in the week to preview and to promote these young athletes in these big time games. So we hope to see you again next year. Enjoy the state championships, everybody. The Register and the SoCal News Group will have coverage, uh, articles, photos, and my video. So make sure to check those all out. And happy holidays, everybody. Thank, thank you. you.